All right, so one more example here uh, using implicit differentiation. So we're going to find the derivative of 1 over x plus ln of y plus xy to the third equals 4x. Um, again, recall that we can rewrite 1 over x simply as x to the negative first. So I don't want to rewrite the whole problem just to rewrite that. Um, so when we take the derivative of 1 over x, or equivalently x to the negative first, we'll get negative 1x to the negative second. The derivative of ln of y will get 1 over y. But again, I've taken the derivative of something involving y. Uh, so now we have to tack on our dy dx. Um, when we do the derivative of xy to the third, we'll, we'll have to be a little careful. We'll have to use both the chain rule and the product rule. So the 3 comes out front. We'll leave the inside alone. Okay, so we'll get 3 times the quantity xy squared. But then we have to use the product rule. So if we take the derivative of 1x, we just get 1. We'll leave the y alone. And then when we take the derivative... Okay, so we'll, we'll leave the x alone. And then when we take the derivative of 1y, we'll just get, well, 1. But then again, we're taking the derivative of the y part, so we have to tack on our dy dx term. Okay. So again, be careful. We have to use the product rule on the inside, again, using our implicit differentiation. And then the derivative of 4x on the right will just leave us with 4. And again, now our goal is to solve for dy dx. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of all the brackets. So first, I'll just rewrite this as negative 1 over x squared. So plus 1 over y times dy dx. I just get rid of all the brackets or parentheses. Um, I guess I should be more careful. We don't have to get rid of these parentheses. What I want to do is I want to, um, I want to be able to sort of add and subtract things that have dy dx's attached to them. And I can't really move this stuff around until I distribute. So we have 3 times xy squared times y. So we'd have 3 times xy squared times y plus, well, then we would have 3 times xy squared times x times dy over dx. So I'm just distributing the 3xy squared to both terms. And again, we can simplify this a little bit. We can do that in just a moment. Um, equals 4. All right, a couple things now. I'll do a couple steps at once. Anything that doesn't have a dy, that's not being multiplied by a dy dx, such as the first term and the third term, I'm going to move those to the right side. So there's our positive 4 from, from before. Negative 1 over x squared, I'm going to add that to both sides, so I'll get positive 1 over x squared. Likewise, uh, notice we could write uh, this other term, so I would have to subtract this term. So I guess let's just write it just like it is for now. So I can subtract the 3xy uh, squared times y, so that's what I'm doing there. So I've moved that term over. Um, we've moved that term over by subtracting. Uh, and now what I'm going to be left with on the left is just 1 over y times dy dx. Um, and then we have plus our 3xy squared times x times dy over dx. And what I'm going to do next is just, uh, so this is kind of the last step, and this is the point. Uh, everything on the left side now has a dy dx attached to it. The stuff on the right doesn't. Since everything on the left has a dy dx attached to it, in order to solve for dy dx, we can just factor that out. So we would have dy over dx. If I factor it out, we would need a 1 over y. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. So we could square both terms, so we would have x squared times x, which would give us x cubed. And then y squared is just, well, y squared. Again, we factored out the dy dx. On the right side, we have 4 plus 1 over x squared. We could do the same thing. We could write this as 3x squared. And then we would have y squared times y, which would give us y to the third power. Last but not least, to get the dy dx all by itself, I'm going to divide by this 1 over y plus 3x cubed y squared, and then we will have our solution. We'll, we now have dy dx. So this is 4 plus 1 over x squared minus 3x squared times y to the third. Again, all divided by 1 over y plus 3x cubed times y squared.
Um, you could always clean this stuff up a little bit, um, maybe get rid of the fractions, but um, in general, I would say, uh, you know, look at the answers. Um, most people, I think, would probably be okay with this. Again, it just kind of depends. So, But again, this is the basic idea, okay? So this is a good problem. So just remember, whenever you take the derivative of, of something involving y, you have to tack on dy dx. Get rid of, uh, you know, basically you want to get rid of most of the brackets and parentheses just so you can add and subtract things. And that's what we did at the second step. Third step, I put everything with a dy dx on one side, everybody else on the other. Factor out the dy dx was the next thing. And then you just divide by whatever's left, and that's how you get your solution. So kind of a very sort of a typical process on these problems.